to have with us a great patriot, one who more than anyone else helped establish Mexican freedom. He has a message of vital importance for us. Gentlemen, Benito Juarez. Thank you, Governor. Fellow citizens, our fight has not ended. It is just beginning. Failure already threatens our republic, and we are not yet six months old. Our republic still has internal enemies, selfish, unscrupulous, callous men. We need loyal men, and we need gold to establish our foreign credit. Your San Mandalito mine is the richest in Mexico. Its gold helped win the revolution. Its gold must now help fill the empty treasury of our new nation. In your hands alone rests the fate of our newborn democracy. As governor, I assure you, Mexico's destiny is safe in San Mendolito's hands. And you, Pablo, as Chief Justice, do you find our new laws suitable to your local conditions? Why, yes, only they're much more lenient than the old code. Gonzalez, we are depending on you as manager of the mine to ship gold regularly. Regularly, Juarez. Commandante Manuel, when does the gold train leave? Within the hour. I will have to leave now, gentlemen. No, no. Francisco will see me to my coach. Goodbye. 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 There may be trouble with the Yaquis, Juarez. Something to do with an idol of which you were telling me before the meeting? Yes. A three-century-old Yaqui idol, a god of gold. It's called Don Del Oro and is reported to be rousing the Indians against us. It will be a catastrophe, Francisco, if this Don Del Oro incites the Yaquis to attack the gold trains. Don't worry. I've organized a group of patriots to combat any such difficulty. I'm sure you will be able to handle the situation. I will keep you fully informed. Goodbye. Goodbye. Francisco's been having a long talk with Juarez. What of it? It's up to you, Manuel, to do your part. Don't worry about me, Felipe. You have to worry about Francisco and Juarez. Francisco and Juarez. How can they interfere with our plan? To Don Deloro's success. Don Deloro. Don Deloro. Don Deloro.
Council, this arrow proves conclusively that Dandaloro is no legend. Undoubtedly, someone's using the ancient Yaki idol to control the tribe. Then why not destroy this idol, this Dandaloro? No. Even trying it might start an Indian uprising throughout Mexico. I can't ship any more gold as long as these Yakis are on the warpath. I haven't enough men to guard the trade. Governor. There are plenty of men in San Mendelita willing to guard the trains. Down Deloro or no Down Deloro, our Republic's need for gold must be supplied. I suppose you can get the extra guards for the trains. I have a group of men already organized. There's a gold train scheduled to leave in the morning. I'll send it through. But you're responsible for its safety. Gentlemen, I accept that responsibility. Come, Ramon. We must get to the cantina. The cantina. But I'm not recruiting any army. It's the talk of San Mendelito. I am sorry, Rodriguez, but my men are already chosen. My sword is not good enough for you. Let them alone. Gentlemen, defend themselves.
saved my life, Uncle. You are Diego Vega? Yes. There is so little time. Listen carefully. You must take my place on the council. As my nephew, you will meet with opposition. Ramon will explain everything. Watch the counselors. Don Deloro is... is... Quick! Don Delora, signal. The usual place. Hurry. The signal. Forget it. I'm tired of playing servant to Don Deloro. Let's finish the game. Here, my friends, is the winning card. The Death Ace. Since his death, nothing has been done. I may be able to find out something about their plans. I must hurry to the Hacienda to meet Francisco's nephew, who is arriving from California tonight. Oh, but you're not late, Don Felipe. My nephew hasn't arrived yet. He and Ramon should be here any minute now. You seem very impatient, Volita. I confess. I can hardly wait to meet him. <laughs> you understand, neither Volita nor I have ever seen Diego. We are all very interested in him. Good evening, Felipe. Good evening, Felipe. Oh, you're just in time. Dona Maria, your nephew, Don Diego Vega. Coming, Ramon, coming. How many times, Juan, must I tell you? Master before servant. Here I am at last, Ramon. Welcome, nephew. Diego, this is my ward, Volita, Ramon's sister. She also welcomes you. Charmed. 
Our problem is solved. We don't have to fear Francisco's nephew. Yes, and I'm inclined to think he will be useful. We are very pleased to have you with us, Don Diego. I hope you had a pleasant journey. Oh, hardly pleasant. It was fatiguing. Very fatiguing. A council appointment, perhaps. Francisco's friends will be flattered by it, and yet weakened. Yes, I'm sure he'll make an ideal councilman. Now, if you'll excuse us, I'll introduce Diego to the others. Certainly. The saints protect us. A fop. If he could only have been like Francisco's description of him. But Ramon assured me that I wouldn't have to take Francisco's place in the council. Thinking bores me. Oh, but Don Diego, I must insist. If you, my governor, insist, then I suppose it's my duty to be a counselor. Your patriotic duty. Ramon will advise you. The gold train's departure was postponed out of respect for Francisco. But now, it leaves at dawn. Your scheme's worked so far. Nobody's going to suspect that Zorro and Diego are one and the same person. And they've even made you a counselor. So far, so good. Are you ready? Yes, and I'll have Francisco's men for the old mission by midnight. Men, we have been inactive since Francisco's death. Now we must prepare for action. Well, who lead us? Zorro. We are Zorro's fighting legion. Patriots, you all know the purposes for which Francisco asked you to band together. Traitors must perish. Law must be enforced. Our republic must prosper. As your new leader, I hope to achieve these purposes in spite of all danger, all opposition. Are you willing to follow me? Yeah! Thank you. Now I ask you to repeat your oath with me. I solemnly swear to uphold the Republic of Mexico. I solemnly swear to uphold the Republic of Mexico. With my sword and with my life. With my sword and with my life. I will be loyal and always strive to be a worthy member of this fighting legion. I will be loyal and in all ways strive to be a worthy member of this fighting legion. Another gold train is on its way to Mexico City. It's our task to see that it arrives there safely. Guarding the gold train. Zorro? Then Tarmac and his Yankees can't get the gold. We still got a chance to get it. There's enough time to get to the pass ahead of the train. Martinez now go meet Tarmac.
You can get through now, Sergeant. Take the gold to Mexico City. I'm going back and report to the council. On your way, men! Get back to your horses and follow the gold train. Keep them in sight, but don't let them see you. I'm going to follow the Yankees. They may lead me to Don Delora. here warned us, and we set a trap for the gold train at the pass. So stop the gold train right where we want it. Come on. Train. Oh, we're just in time. Such a torch.
started a landslide in the gorge, but the gold train got through all right. Now, you and the men follow them in case there's any more trouble. But keep well back and stay out of their sight. What are you going to do? I'm going on ahead to Mexico City and explain this to Juarez. Come with me, Juan. I cannot tell you how much this gold means to us. The very existence of the Republic of Mexico depends on the establishment of our foreign credit for the purchase of arms and supplies. We'll continue with the gold delivery, Suarez, in spite of Don Deloro and his Yankees. This Don Deloro, you've no idea who he is? No, apparently someone masquerading as a Yankee god, and he has complete control of the Indians. I could send you more soldiers if necessary, but it might antagonize the Indians and start a general uprising. It won't be necessary. The Legion can handle this situation. But your Legion has no legal standing. And if you get into trouble with the San Mendolito authorities, there is nothing I can do to help you. I realize that. But I think we can take care of ourselves. When do you return? At once. The Council meets again tomorrow. You're sure the Council does not suspect you of being Zorro? How could they? Well done, Diego. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> the council meeting must take care of this situation once and for all. Be certain to give the proper answers to our questions. Don't worry. I will be letter perfect. We had the situation well in hand until Zorro attacked. Zorro? Zorro attacked the train? Certainly. My men and I were putting up a desperate defense against the Indians until Zorro and his legion attacked. Fortunately, our two enemies started fighting each other. I took advantage of the situation and got the gold safely away. Then you think this uh, Zorro and his men are bandits? Would honest men be riding armed and masked? They're outlaws and must be treated as such. I suggest a reward be offered for the capture of these bandits. I agree. We should offer a reward of 100 pesos for each one of his men and 500 for Zorro, dead or alive. Oh, but is that enough? If this Zorro is as terrible as you say he is, I should think his capture would be worth much more than that. Say, uh, a thousand pesos at least. Very well. Are we all agreed? Yes, agreed. agreed. That's agreed. satisfactory. Good. It is so ordered. The meeting is adjourned. I'll have my men start a search at once. We'll run down these outlaws. He hid something under that rock.
he's a legionnaire. This is all the evidence we'll need. Some of the Legion. Buck, what's that? Blazing Z. Must be Zorro's signal. The Legion. Let's follow him. the meeting place. We'll tell Don DeLauro. Legionnaires, one of our members has been captured by the military. He is to be executed tomorrow morning. We could attack in a body, but that would cause unnecessary bloodshed. So I've made other arrangements. to say before your sentence is carried out? No. Ready?
I have made plans to destroy them tonight. Go to the San Nicolas Mission and do what I told you. The things you need are already and... Are you crazy? Spread the rest of the powder around the base of those kegs. Hurry up with that candle. I've cut it to burn two hours. That should be about right. Light it. That will make a warm welcome for Zorro and his legion. Go up on the hillside and light that Z as soon as it's dark. No matter what you say, I still don't believe Zorro is a bandit. <laughs> then why does he wear a mask? Perhaps because he's so ugly he's afraid to show his face. <laughs> Seems a little close in here. Should we take a short stroll? Yes, let's. Someone hidden in there. Go on to the mission. I'm going to look into this. will see that no one gets out the front way. It'll only be a few minutes now before that powder goes off. There must be something wrong. Come on, we'll join Zorro.
stay there. The back door is barred and the Yankees will see that no one gets out the front way. It'll only be a few minutes now before that powder goes off. Come on, we'll join Zorro. Back! Get back inside! Don Dolores' men think they've gotten away. It's bad now. Juan, you follow Don Dolores' men. That's why you called off the Legion. Right. They won't be so careful about hiding their trail. Find out where they went. I'll take care of Ramon. Tarmac arrives. should have been here hours ago. Yes, I hope nothing's happened to him. Look. They need help.
Tell him Delora wants us to leave as soon as Tarmac gets here. Hey, Gonzalez. One of Zora's men attacked me, took my hat and shirt and number tag. What was your number? 65. Bring all the men here and we'll check their tags. I want to check all your tags. Let's see yours. Number 98. Good morning, Gonzalez. Why, gentlemen, this is a surprise. We just dropped in to visit your mine. I've never seen one before, but... What are you doing, hiring new men? No, we're looking for a spy. Someone stole a number tag and is masquerading as a miner. Number 18. Number 36. The spy! Stop it! Oh, I'm so sorry. Quick, do something or he will escape. Crawl over the car and back it up. Hurry. Search that passage. Ramon and I can go this way, and you... Tarmac! Hold it! Don't shoot! This man. I don't know. I never saw him before. Whoever he is, he was with Tarmac, so he must be one of Don Deloro's men. We'll have to guard him carefully. My men can take care of him. Thank you, but I think we should take him to the council at once for questioning. You've admitted you're one of Don Deloro's men. Well then, who is he? I don't know. Turn them over to me. The military has ways of making prisoners talk. May I make a suggestion? In California, we have very effective ways of persuading people to talk. that I never lived to spend it. We can protect you from Don Delora. How? We could give you escort to the coast where you can get a ship to Europe. With this money, you can live very pleasantly in Paris. Don Delora could never harm you there. All right. I'll tell. I'm not positive who Don Delora is. No one has ever seen his face, but, but last night, when I was on duty in the secret room in the mine... The golden arrow. Where did it come from? Must have come through that window. Someone's going to search. Come on. So die all traitors to Don Deloro. Our connection with the mine is known to the council. But I've forestalled any investigation until tomorrow. So we will have time to abandon the workshop there. But before we do, I want the mine crippled so badly that by the time it can be repaired, I will be in power and the gold will belong to me. Tonight, after the workmen have left,
Where are you going? Back to the mine. I want to find that secret room before tomorrow's investigation. Shall I call the Legion? Yes, but keep out of sight until I call for you. His office will leave the mine. Let's get the rest of the tools out of here. Tarmac and his men will be here any moment. Dolores Yaquis, get the Legion. Get him on the wagon. We're going to blow up the shaft after the next load.
Zara's Legion. Thank <laughs> you. 
again. Separate now and return to your homes. Flight, I took this away from one of Dondolore's men. One. Go to all the gunsmiths tomorrow and find out who bought that pistol. The unusual design should make it easy to trace the buyer. And that person might lead us to Dondoloro. Right. Gentlemen, I've just received some very disturbing news. Juarez has raised a new body of troops, a thousand men. With the gold from our mine, he has purchased a complete supply of arms and ammunition for these troops. The train carrying these munitions is on its way to Mexico City now. It will pass through here tomorrow. Now this is serious. Don Dolores' plan to make himself Emperor of Mexico will depend upon our being able to stir up a successful revolt against the Republic. If Juarez is allowed to become too strong, we... Did they put the mine out of commission? Not entirely. But why not? Zorro and the Legion drove them off. Zorro? Why didn't the Indians fight them off? What could they do with bows and arrows against the Legion's guns? If we could only arm those Yaquis. Unfortunately, Juarez is the only one who can import firearms. Gentlemen, I have the answer. Juarez's shipment of munitions comes through here tomorrow. I think Don Del Oro can handle this situation very nicely. Soon you will be powerful. Soon you can take vengeance upon the people of San Mandalito who have stolen your land. For I have arranged to arm you with a white man's weapon. A shipment of government arms and ammunition passes through San Mandalito tomorrow. You and your men will capture it and bring it here. But the military will meet it as it enters the province. There will be no God. I will see to that at the council. Fortunately, the mine was not entirely destroyed. Zorro was driven off before he had time to fire all the powder. Are you sure it was Zorro? Certainly. I told you one of my men saw him. I demand the mine be protected from Zorro. He and his outlaws must be brought to justice. But it's like chasing a will-o'-the-wisp. No one knows his identity. If his identity were known, any fool could capture him. You're authorized to turn out your entire troop. Scour the countryside. Bring in Zorro. You forget, Your Excellency. My men must meet the ammunition train and escort it through the province. It won't be here for two days. I just received this message. There's been a delay. In that case, I'll send my troops out to capture Zorro at once. Very well. The meeting is adjourned. Zorro, Zorro, these are such troublesome times. See you later at the Hacienda. Made it to Hernandez Armory. Good. Who bought it? He wouldn't tell. There's a record of the sale, but the armory would only give out the information on the order from the military. Perhaps they can ask the commander to get it for us. No, that would cause suspicion. I have a better plan. Come.
You're sure the munitions train will be unguarded? Certainly. The consul thought Philippe's message official, so the delay wasn't questioned. So the military are off on a wild goose chase after Zorro, leading the munitions train an easy prey for Marino and his Yankees. That's right. Is that gun loaded? Come out of there! Zorro! He knows of our plans! You take care of him. I'll tell Marina to hurry. The Legion may have been warned. Look! The Pango Slide to cross the suspension bridge. You and your men head him off. We'll take care of the ammunition train. Go ahead, Joe, wait! Claudia! 
Edward's eyes With a song ringing far and wide And a sorrow are we We the pango slide across the suspension bridge. You and your men head him off. We'll take care of the ammunition train. <laughs> Here comes the munition train. I'll use the forged order first. If there's any difficulty, you know what to do. I wonder what happened to that military escort that was supposed to meet us here. Lieutenant Gomez? Yes? I have an order from the Council at San Mendolito to take over these munitions. understand this. I was expecting a military escort, but... Uh... I can't help that. You have your orders. I have my orders to deliver these munitions to the military of San Mendolito and to no one else. Then you refuse the council's order? I do.
those murderers didn't spare anyone. You can still catch up with the train. Those wagons leave a pretty good trail. Wagons up the road and turn them loose. Keep out of sight and meet us later. The other wagons are empty, too. Yes, Don DeLauro must have planned all this to get arms for the Yakis. The Yakis? That would be serious. It would be a disaster. It might start an Indian revolt that would threaten the whole republic. Juarez's army is no condition to control a rebellion now. Those munitions can't be very far away. Couldn't we spread out and search for them? No, searching every cave and ravine would take days. We'll have to force them out into the open. Now, when the patrol finds the murdered men at the crossroads, They'll immediately report to the council. And when they do, I have a plan. When the troops got there, the munition wagons were gone, and all the men were dead. They found this paper near the body of the lieutenant. Why, this is a forgery. The council never issued any such order. No, gentlemen. It's Luzaro. To the Council of San Mendelito. I know where the stolen munitions are hidden. They will be brought to San Mendelito within 24 hours. Signed, Zorro. Just an idle boast. Well, it's very possible that the Legion stole the munitions themselves and are returning them to gain favor with the Council. Well, in that case, why not use the militia to capture Zor and his legion when they bring the munitions into town? An excellent idea. I'll post lookouts immediately at all roads leading to the city. And keep the entire militia on call for emergency duty. Unless I'm mistaken, Don DeLauro will be moving those munitions very soon. Assemble the legion. Right. He can't know where those munitions are hidden. Perhaps. But we can't take any chances. Those arms are too important. You are right. Once those weapons are in the hands of the Yaquis, we can wipe out this meddling Zorro and his legion. And that's only the starting point. With our Yaquis armed, we can capture more munitions, equip more Indians, and in that way have an irresistible army to crown Don DeLauro Emperor of Mexico. Those are pleasant dreams, gentlemen. But they cannot be assured until we have actually distributed the guns to the Yaquis. That's easy. We can move the munitions to the ceremonial cave. Don DeLauro will give his orders at once. Your enemies in San Mendelito have taken the land that is rightfully yours. And now they seek to destroy you with their guns and powder. But Don DeLauro watches over his unfortunate people. The guns and powder have been captured and hidden from your enemies. You must help bring them back here. Tarmac will lead you. Each of these pigeons is marked. 
You take Silver Rock. You cover Barajos Pass. And you, Aliso Gorge. Now keep a sharp lookout. We'll wait here for your message. That's the last of the powder. We're all set to go. for Barajos Pass. Ramon, you take the men and go to... I'll try and head it off.
at my side With a song ringing far and wide And a sorrow are we We Try and head it off. ammunition gets into the hands of the Indians, they'll wipe out San Mendolito. Do you think we can drive them off by an open charge? No, they're too strong. Our only chance is to make them think they're surrounded. We'll need twice as many men as we have for that. No, we can do it. Leave me two men. You take half and attack from the left. One, you take the others and attack from the right. That would leave you with only... They won't know that. You stay, and you stay. All right, the rest of you men, come on. Keep firing. time to lose. We've got to get that ammunition into San Mandolito. San Mandolito? With the entire military on the lookout first? We could take care of them.
Christ fulfills his promise. You say both Don Diego and your brother are out? They left early this morning to inspect some cattle. Is there anything important? Why, no. We just wondered why they were not at the council meeting yesterday. Do they leave frequently like this to inspect cattle? If it isn't cattle, it's something else. Don Diego is beginning to realize that running a ranch is a man's job. How does Don Diego stand it? I wonder. I'll tell them you called. Don't bother. We'll see them at the next council meeting. medical supplies you wanted. Good, I'll take them to McGuell right away. talking to Raymond. But I don't see It how... is simple. All we have to do is capture Raymond and make him tell us who Zorro is. But suppose Raymond won't talk. Don't worry. Don Deloro will take care of that. Raymond usually attends the afternoon services of the chapel while his driver waits for him in the carriage. Send a couple of men to hide near the chapel and when... Better go on without me. I want to stay and visit with the Padre. We'll wait for you if you wish. No, thanks. I'll ride home later. Go ahead, Juan. Driving Ramon and Valida must be one of Don Dolores' men. They're in danger. Quick one. Glove. You thought you were clever leaving the trail behind. Go on, take them in there and take care of the carriage. I'll ride back to Road came and see if I can pick up anything else they dropped. Mm -hmm. 
The leader's all right. We're on the trail. Tell us who Zorro is now, and you'll save yourself a lot of pain. But he told you. He doesn't know. You can see him talking to Zorro this morning. take Ramon and his sister? I don't know. You mean you won't tell? Perhaps I can refresh your memory. I'll count three and you'd better talk. One. Two. No, no, don't. I'll tell. All right, where are they? They're in the old dungeon, about a mile down the road. Tie them up. Then get the Legion and bring them to the dungeon. Thank you. 
my side With a song ringing far and wide And a sorrow are we We said anything about burning you. The others bring the prisoners through the passage. We must find Zorro.
me, you and my brother and I would have been killed. See that they reach their home safely. Thank heaven you're safe. I've worried myself ill about you. And while you were worrying, Zorro saved us. The outlaw? Well, perhaps there is some good in him after all. Some good in him? If it weren't for Zorro and his legion, San Mendolito would be at the mercy of Don Del Oro. Ramon, Bolita! We're all right, Dona Maria. Zorro saved us from Don Del Oro's men. Oh, what did they want? They tried to make me tell them who Zorro is. Oh, well, the saints be praised you are unharmed. Come, child. Has anyone ever seen you with Zorro? Why, they claim I was seen talking to him yesterday morning, but I don't know by whom. Felipe and Manuel were here yesterday. They may have seen you with Zorro on their way back to town. But, but the governor and the commander of the militia are surely above suspicion. Manuel, eh? Someone in the council is in league with Don Delano. May even be Don Delano. And I'm inclined to suspect Manuel. Why? Hasn't the militia under his command lost two gold trains to Don Deloro? That's right, but that in itself is hardly enough to prove him guilty. No, but if he is Don Deloro, or one of Don Deloro's men, I think I know how to force him into the open. What do you intend to do? I'll tell you later, after I've called on our brave commander. Manuel. Ah, Don Diego. I am honored by your visit. Sit down. What's the matter? Are you sure that we're alone? Yes, certainly. Sit down. Thank you. I must pledge you to secrecy. My life depends upon it. Swear that you will tell no one why I came. Yes, I swear. Go on. An outlaw. One of Don Dolores' men approached me this morning. One of Don Dolores' men? Shh, quiet. Someone might hear you. What did he want? Money. He came to me because I'm rich and a member of the council. I gave him a thousand pesos. For heaven's sake, what for? Why, to tell me about Don Deloro, of course. You know who Don Deloro is? Not yet. The man is to leave a note for me this afternoon with the information in it. Where? I promised I wouldn't tell. He was afraid of a trap. But surely you can tell me. No, I, I promised. All right. You will pick up this note, of course. Yes. It's to be left some distance from San Mandolito. That's why I came to see you. Go on. Well, I, uh, these are troublesome times, and I'm a man of peace. I wonder if you'd go with me to pick up the note. I'd be very glad to. Thank you, Manuel. I'll call for you later. Uh, Diego. Of course, there may be nothing to it. The man may not even leave a note. There's no need to take anyone else with us. As you think best. Which of the men plans to betray Don Deloro? I don't know yet. But there's still time to stop him. He is leaving a note for Don Diego some distance from San Mendolito this afternoon. That note will contain the secret of my identity until I overcome this feeble republic and become emperor of Mexico. It is vital that my identity remains unknown. Get that message 
and bring it to me. Should be there. That will tell us all about Don Delora. Open it. No. This note should be opened at the council meeting. Stand still. And don't turn around. That note won't be opened at the council meeting. I'll take it. Shall we fight? No. Marino has us covered. I'll gladly pay you well if only you... Quiet! And don't try to follow us. Well, we're no better off now than we were before. Oh, yes, we are. What do you mean? There's some questions you'll have to answer. How did you know it was Marino who held us up when your back was turned so you couldn't see him? Why, well, I... I uh... You must have told Don Dolores' men that we were coming here. Why, you... Now, wait a minute. Take it easy. I'm as steady as a rock. I'm sorry, but I've got to take you back to the council. Of course. Anything you say. You're not going to read it. Gondolero will kill you. But we'll tell him the message's already been opened. It may be to our advantage to know his secret. Well, there's nothing on it. It's a trap. Come on. That hardly proves Manuel to be guilty as you charge, Diego. But, gentlemen, he was the only one to whom I mentioned that message. And yet we were waylaid and the message taken from us. He knew it was Marina who was holding us up before he saw him. He must be Don Delaro. He's right. It sounds like it. It certainly looks that way. How do you answer this? I... This is the way I answer. Stay where you are. Don't anybody make a move toward me.
Manuel's badly hurt. Let's take him back town, hold him in the jail till he's able to talk. That won't work. Donna Laura might rescue him. I have an idea. We'll take him to Jose's cabin. You'll be in for a lot of trouble if anything goes wrong. Don't worry, nobody can recognize me. And if they do question me, I'll just be too sick to answer. We'll watch the jail. If Don Dolores' men take you out, we'll follow. And the Legion will be standing by to help you. There, you look exactly like Manuel now. Watch him carefully, Jose. I will.
going to the council. Let us know when he's able to talk. Yes, sir. Do you still think Manuel is Don DeLauro? I don't know, but we can question him when he recovers. How badly is he hurt? Apparently, a severe concussion. It may be some time before he can talk. In that case, you better adjourn until tomorrow. He should be able to talk by then. That will be best. The meeting is adjourned. that satisfactory? Yes, that should solve our problem very nicely. Don DeLauro. But Manuel is it? You have your orders. Don Dolores has decided you're no longer any use to him. We've come to see the prisoner. Manuel, is he still in there? Yes, poor fellow. I couldn't reach him. I don't think Ramon liked our plan. 
Come on, we must hurry. He got away. to see where they take it. No. Oh. What's the matter? It's too tight. It's cutting in my wrist. All right, I'll change it. Down to Laura's meeting place. Get the Legion. Why didn't you kill him as I ordered? But Manuel said he could tell you who Zorro is. Bring him to. Execution will come later.
side by side, with a song ringing far and wide, and a sorrow are we. Execution will come later. Load my pistol. Now that Don Delora would kill you if he could. You ought to be willing to help us. Who is Don Delora? We could leave you here, you know. No. All right, I'll tell you. I owe him nothing now. Don Delora is... Men. How are we going to report this to the council? We'll see to it that Manuel's body is found. Too bad. Another minute and we'd have learned the true identity of Don Valoro. Then the secret of Don Valoro's identity died with Manuel. Now it only remains for us to convince our fellow councillors that Manuel was Don Valoro.
I can't tell you where Manuel is, but I can assure you he's miles away by now. I have always suspected him of being Don DeLauro. Now I feel sure of it. What made you suspect him? Think back over some of the events of the last few weeks. When the first gold train left for Mexico City, Manuel was in charge. Golden Arrow, Don DeLauro. captured the gold. The entire command was wiped out, but Manuel escaped unharmed. When the next train was attacked, Manuel again came safely through the fighting, then deserted his command just before they reached the gorge where Don DeLauro had expected to destroy them. Sergeant, take the gold to Mexico City. I'm going back and report to the council. On your way, men! Get back to your horses and follow the gold train. Keep them in sight, but don't let them see you. I've got to follow the Yankees. They may lead me to Don Deloro. Martinez here warned us, and we set a trap for the gold train at the pass. So stop the gold train right where we want it. Come on. Here 
the goal train. Oh, we're just in time. Set your torch. Manuel must have known about the ambush ahead of time. I believe you're right. Certainly sounds logical. Quite possible. Very likely. Gentlemen, I cannot agree with you. This is purely circumstantial evidence. And on that basis, Gonzalez is equally guilty. For instance, the day Diego and I were visiting the mine, Gonzalez was looking for a spy who had escaped. We were helping him search the tunnels. Ramon and I can go this way and you... Tarmac! Hold it! Don't shoot! I don't know. I never saw him before. Whoever he is, he was with Tarmac, so he must be one of Don Deloro's men. We'll have to guard him carefully. My men can take care of him. Thank you, but I think we should take him to the council at once for questioning. But I had no idea those men were in the mine. Even so, you must admit their presence there might easily be construed as evidence against you. Governor, I protest. What is it? The Commandante has been murdered. Manuel. Yes, sir. He was killed by this arrow. Golden arrow. Well, it's Don Delaro's arrow. Well, Felipe, I'm afraid this spoils your theory about Manuel being Don Delaro. Oh, yes, of course. However, he was probably one of Don Delaro's men. He might have been. Do you know Gonzalez? Why? Why, how would I know? Since Don Delaro's men once used your mind for a hiding place, I thought you might know. You insinuate that I am Don DeLauro on the strength of such flimsy evidence? Gentlemen, <laughs> this is becoming ridiculous. The next thing we know, someone will be accusing you of being Zorro. Why, why I believe I'd be flattered. Perhaps such an accusation would not be so far wrong after all. Have Diego and Zorro ever been seen at the same time? Did you ever consider the fact that Zorro's activities began at exactly the same time Diego arrived here? Also, there's the strange coincidence of Zorro's attacking the mine just a few hours after Diego discovered Don DeLauro's men were hiding there. Perhaps you can explain, Diego, how Zorro got that information so promptly. Gentlemen, you embarrass me greatly. I... I... Well, it's difficult to explain. Undoubtedly. But you must make some explanation. You're forcing me to violate a confidence. But if I must, I have met and talked with Zorro on several occasions. Well, uh, who is he? I've never seen him without his mask. When did you see him last? This morning, just after Manuel was killed. 
Zorro was with him when he died. Diego, did Manuel tell him anything about Don Deloro? Yes. What do you tell him? Speak up, man. What did he tell you? Just before he died, insinuate that I am Don DeLauro on the strength of such flimsy evidence? Gentlemen, <laughs> this is becoming ridiculous. The next thing we know, someone will be accusing you of being Zorro. Why? Why, I believe I'd be flattered. Perhaps such an accusation would not be so far wrong after all. Have Diego and Zorro ever been seen at the same time? Did you ever consider the fact that Zorro's activities began? At exactly the same time Diego arrived here. Gentlemen, you embarrass me greatly. I, I, well, it's difficult to explain. Undoubtedly, but you must make some explanation. You're forcing me to violate a confidence. But if I must, I have met and talked with Zorro on several occasions. Well, uh, who is he? I've never seen him without his mask. When did you see him last? This morning, just after Manuel was killed. Zorro was with him when he died. Diego. Did Manuel tell him anything about Don Deloro? Yes. What did he tell him? Speak up, man. What did he tell you? Just before he died, Did you see anyone come out of here? Yes, a Yaki ran out, knocked me down and went that way. Hey there! Stop! Did you see an Indian running down the street? No, sir, I ain't seen a soul. Well, it's impossible. What's in that tank? Only water I'm taking to the mine. Open it. Let's look inside. That won't be necessary. I can vouch for this man's honesty. 
Garcia has worked for me at the mine for a long time and is entirely trustworthy. You see, gentlemen, Go ahead. Yes. No need to look any further. The guard will continue the search. Let's go back to the council room. Diego can finish his story. Oh, no. Not while that assassin is still loose. He might try to kill me again. All Manuel told Zorro was that Don Deloro was not an Indian. Then he was killed. Good night, gentlemen. Come, Ramon. Gentlemen. I wonder if that's all Manuel told Zorro before he died. The Indian that shot that arrow couldn't have disappeared into thin air. There was no place he could have hidden except in that water wagon. But the tank was full. Not too full. It sounded quite hollow when I knocked on it. Besides, Gonzalez was a little too anxious to alibi the driver. What are we going to do about it? We're going to the mine and look over that wagon. I see you here so late. Can I be of any help? Yes, I'm looking for Garcia, the water wagon driver. He told me he'd be here tonight. Why, there must be some mistake. Garcia never comes here at night. All his trips are made in the morning. Are you sure? Positive. Why, is there anything wrong? No, no, nothing's wrong. I'll see him in the morning. Good night. Looks as though you were right, but I wonder where that wagon went. Must have turned off the road somewhere. Let's go back and see if we can find out. Diego and Ramon are finding out more than is good for them to know. Stop them before they get back to town and bring them to the cave. my snuff box. Won't you uh, have some? men. That water wagon must be a lot more important than you suspected. We'll find out about that in the morning. We'll trail it from the well. It may lead us to Don Delora. And Mabesa sent Rico to get them and bring them here. Good. Now we'll be able to find out just what information Diego got from Zorro. Has Fernandez finished making those guns yet? Yes. We got the last of the powder today, and tomorrow we'll get the rest of the guns. Now your men will be equipped with deadly firearms. Under my leadership, you can drive every white man from the country. And when I become emperor of Mexico, you will again be free to live on the lands of your fathers. They killed Martin and got away. Maybe we'd better wait a few days before moving that last load of arms. We can't wait any longer. Those arms must come through tomorrow.
Come on. This whole thing ties in perfectly. They're using this wagon to smuggle ammunition out of San Mandolito. Down to Loro's men. Yes, I'll stay here and watch them. You get the Legion to guard the road going out of town. We've got to stop them. If the Yankees ever get their hands on those guns, San Mandolito would be wiped out. But you can't go in that building. What Diego can't do, Zorro can. Legion is gathering on Pocatel Road. Join me. We ride with the wind over hill, over dale, with the spirit that kind of plays, and the sorrow of me. We ride with the wind and we go side by side, with the song ringing far and wide, and the sorrow. When Don Delora gives the Yankees these guns, the militia won't stand a chance. Quick, we go out to the well. Someone in the armory. Stay here. I'll fix it. What's the trouble here? This Indian trying to steal some guns from the armory. All right. We'll take care of him. Go ahead. We'll get the others and join you outside of town.
Watchmen! Hold them here. We'll cut over the hill.
a message for you, Diego. Thank you, Volita. Military captured a Yankee stealing firearms. He's to be tried this morning by the council. They want to say it. Who is he? Kayla. Kayla? Why, he's an hereditary leader of the tribe. Very popular with the Yankees. But that trial will be a farce anyway. Don Delora will use his influence with the counselors to free Kayla. Perhaps you're right. And if so, it may help us to uncover Don Delora. The counselors who plead for a light or suspended sentence will be the ones connected with Don Delora. If we follow them, they may lead us to him. Case of the State versus Kayla. A Yaki charged with violating statute 419 of the Civil Code, specifically stealing firearms. There's a surprising number of Indians defying this law. True. It presents a grave situation, especially as the Yaki's seem to be completely under the influence of Don Deloro. I strongly recommend the full penalty of the law be imposed in this case. But the penalty calls for only 30 days imprisonment. So light a sentence will never stop the Yankees from arming themselves. What do you recommend? That we enact a new penalty, imposing the death sentence on all violators of this law. But gentlemen, Kayla is the prince of the Yaki tribes, greatly beloved by his people. To execute him for so slight an offense would make the Indians like us even less than they do now. We want their obedience, not their affection. I propose that Kayla be hanged in the public square tomorrow morning. Excellent. Make an example of him. I also agree. Show the Yaki's they cannot break our laws and live, and we'll have little to fear from that quarter. Except bloodshed and death. So Kayla's execution will so arouse the Yaki's that they will storm and overrun San Mendolito in their fury. <laughs> this hanging must be prevented at all costs. But it's a task for only a few of us. Much depends upon the rescue of Kayla. If we fail, the Yankees will engage in a war of revenge with Don Deloro as their leader. I want four volunteers to help rescue Kayla. We'll draw for it. Legionnaires, disband. Horrible, isn't it? Indeed it is.
Come with us. Quick, we are your friends. This is some of Zorro's work. Zorro, but for you, I would have died. Kayla's life belongs to his white brother. Then listen, Kayla. Listen to your blood brother. Kayla listens. Don Delora wanted you to die so that he could lead your people on a war of revenge. Lead them to death and ruin. No. Don Delora takes care of his children. Then why did he leave you to be hanged? Your brother knows that the god you worship has been defiled by a white man. Think now. For many years your god slept. Then suddenly he rose, walked, and spoke. His words urge your people to forget the years they lived in peace with their white brothers and to war upon them. Those words were not the wish of your true God, but came from the white man who had stolen into Don Dolores body. You must save your people from death and destruction. Let me expose this false God. Take me with you to Don Dolores. I will take my brother to Don Dolores. Good. But no one else. If you are wrong, Dandaloro will kill you. Don't go. The risk is too great. No risk is too great if it's taken for Mexico. Ride to San Mendolito and wait for me. Dandaloro's cave is beyond that rock. Good. See, it's empty. Come, see for yourself. Summon your people.
men of the tribes, listen to Kayla. Zaro has proven to me that Don Deloro is a false god. Wait! With my own eyes, I have seen the shell of gold. Don Deloro's body, empty and helpless. Even now, it rests in the cave. Come see for yourselves. We will go. But if you speak with a crooked tongue, you will die. See, there's nothing to fear. Death to the unbeliever. Cut them or I'll shoot. Don Deloro, God of the Yakim, cannot be harmed. Summon your people. Men of the tribes, listen to Kayla. Zaro has proven to me that Don Deloro is a false god. Come see for yourselves. We will go. But if you speak with a crooked tongue, you will die. See, there's nothing to fear. Death to the unbeliever. Stop them or I'll shoot. Don Deloro, God of the Yakim, cannot be harmed.
keg of powder into the fire pit. There's no sign of Zorro anywhere. He must have been killed. Good. Now nothing can stop me. Arm your warriors. Have them ready to attack San Mendelito at high noon. That will be the start of my campaign, and our fight will continue until I am master of all Mexico. Tell them that Don Delora will lead them himself. I, as counselor, will have the military sent out on some false mission so that our attack will be unopposed and the town taken quickly. Hurry. It is barely an hour until noon. You heard? Don Delora is a white man, a counselor. Go to your people and tell them what you've seen. But if they do not believe me, they must believe you. Listen, Don Delora has promised to lead your people on San Mendolito at high noon. You'll not appear. I'll see to it. When he fails to keep his promise, the Yaquis will believe you and lay down their arms. Quick now, there's no time to lose. He's there. Good. Summon the Legion and have them meet on the outskirts of San Mendelino. But I don't know how. You'll find a list of their names in the dresser in my room. In your room? Yes. Diego! Diego. Hurry now. Yes. has been sent out in accordance with the recommendation. Any further suggestions? It might be well for us to follow the military and investigate the trouble. A good suggestion. We stand adjourned. Sit down, gentlemen. The meeting will continue. What is the meaning of this? One of you is Don Delora. Don Delora, one of us? Impossible! Nevertheless, it's true, and I can prove it. Within the hour, I heard Don Delora say that he was a counselor that he was coming here to order the military sent out of town on some false mission. Whoever made that suggestion at this meeting is Don Deloro. Ramon, who was it?
Have the Legion protect the town. I'll try and overtake down the Loro. Right. Son of your chief, Don Deloro has promised to come to you at midday to lead you against San Mandalito. Don Deloro has failed you. He will not be here. But Don Deloro is our god. He will not fail us. Listen to my story. The true story of your false god. I saw and heard. Don Deloro is a false god. When the hourglass runs out, Don Deloro will appear.
your arms, my people. Return to your homes and live in peace with your white friends. Forget this false god. Remember only that were it not for our brother, Zorro, death and bloodshed would have found us. <laughs> Gala, chief of the Yankees, and Ramon San Mandalito's new governor. The treaty of peace that you signed must never be broken. Never. Never. Donna Maria, now that there's peace, I must return to California. Oh, but... but my dear aunt, I shall come back. And you, Valita. We shall be waiting for you, Don Diego. Goodbye, Juarez. If all patriots were like you, all nations would be great. Mexico today, Diego is great because of you and Ramon. And let us not forget Zorro. Oh!